Hey guys, JB here. On behalf of the AnySwap cross-chain decks. Now in this video, I'm going to be giving a demo tutorial on how to use AnySwap on Binance Smart Chain. We're going to look at how to bridge, swap, pool, and earn those sweet, sweet Any rewards. So without further ado, let's dive into it. All right, so before we kick it off, I'm just going to run through these steps we're going to take in this demo tutorial of the AnySwap cross-chain decks powered by Fusion DCRM and running on Binance Smart Chain. First, we're going to connect our BSC wallet via MetaMask by setting up a custom RPC. Next, we're going to bridge over Ethereum coins from ETH on Ethereum blockchain to any ETH running on AnySwap BSC. Thirdly, we're going to do something slightly different and bridge over BTC running on Bitcoin blockchain to any BTC running on any swap BSC. Following that, we're going to swap over some any ETH into any tokens. And finally, we're going to provide liquidity and pool BNB slash any pairings in order to earn those any rewards, which have been outstanding to date. Now, all these steps are timestamp down in the description below if you want to jump to a specific section. All right, so now let's just jump over to the AnySwap dashboard. All right, so over here at the AnySwap dashboard in my demo wallet on BSC mainnet, as you can see here, we're currently on BSC, but AnySwap has also launched on Ethereum mainnet, Fusion mainnet, and Phantom mainnet. But for this tutorial, we're going to focus on Binance Smart Chain. So just click on there. And now looking at the tokens already listed on any swap BSC, as you can see, BTCB, any BTC, FB, any F, USDTB, any USDT, and then you got your links to DAI, to Uni, to Comp, OMG, Yearn.Finance, Finance, even Binance Pig Cream, just to name a few. So tons of tokens to play around with on here now to get started we got to connect the wallet and you have two options here you can either connect your metamask wallet or your ledger wallet now in this demo we're going to focus and connect our metamask wallet now if we just go up top here to our metamask browser extension so you can see here we're under ethereum mainnet i have just the slightest bit of ethereum in my wallet just in case we want to bridge over ethereum or any erc20 based tokens you'll need some ethereum to pay for gas but to add a custom rpc and get binance smart chain on here we just want to drop down here and go to custom rpc now here we want to fill in all these blanks so network name new rpc url chain id currency block explorer url etc and then drop down here and select save now i'm just going to show you what you need to fill out in all these blanks which is right here so network name bnb mainnet new rpc url bsc data seed one dot binance dot org chain id 56 symbol bnb and block explorer url bsc scan dot com so once you've filled in all of that, you just want to go back to your browser extension and from Ethereum mainnet, you want to drop down here and select BNB mainnet. Now you can see it nice disappears. I have a small balance of BNB in my wallet, which will appear right here. And we're basically all set, good to go as our wallet is connected over here. One thing to note is that you will need a tiny bit of BNB in order to pay for gas. So if you want to do swaps or bridging or pooling, you will need BNB because we're on BSC mainnet. Now let's just jump over to our first step and that is bridging over Ethereum onto any swap BSC mainnet. So we go over here to the left hand side and select the bridge tab. And under the bridge tab, we want to scroll this down and go to any F. Now you can see that I have 0 0.06 in my Ethereum wallet. If we just want to double check, we can go up top here and I can select from BNB mainnet, go back to Ethereum mainnet, and you can see I have 0 0.0621 Ethereum. So I'm just going to go back to BNB mainnet to do this transaction. So a couple key takeaways before we bridge over Ethereum. Now the minimum deposit is 0.01 ETH. The maximum is 1000 ETH. 
The time of arrival can take anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes and anything over 100 Ethereum can take up to 12 hours. One last thing you need to note is that you need at least 0.02 Ethereum in your wallet to make sure you cover for the gas on the Ethereum blockchain because you're paying for gas on Ethereum blockchain than BSC mainnet. So now I'm just going to deposit the minimum amount here. So I'm just going to do 0 0.01. I can bridge over and all you're going to do is select cross chain deposit and I'm just going to hit confirm here. Now MetaMask will pop open. You just want to sign the contract and now the bridge is taking place. If you want to see what's going on, you can click this little tab up here and you can see the Ethereum transaction status is currently pending. Now I'm just going to fast forward until this transaction is a success. All right, our Ethereum transaction status is a success. And now we're just waiting on our BSC transaction status, which is currently minting any Ethereum. So we'll just fast forward until that is done as well. All right, so our BSC transaction status was a success and that was actually really quick and we successfully minted any Ethereum. As you can see, our new balance is 0.01 NEF. If we just want to double check, we can go up to our dashboard over here and show our new balances for any Ethereum 0.01. Now we're just gonna go on to our second step and that is bridging over BTC, which is slightly different than bridging over Ethereum or any ERC-20 based token. So once again, if we go over to the left-hand side over here, select the bridge tab, and in, this time we're gonna scroll down to any BTC. Now bridging over BTC works more like a deposit where you actually have to make a transaction from an external wallet into the exchange. So quick notes before we get going, minimum deposit is 0 0.0005 BTC. The max is 20 BTC. Deposit time of arrival is 10 to 30 minutes and anything over five BTC can take up to 12 hours. So for this transaction, I'm just gonna deposit the minimum amount, which is 0 0.0005. BTC. Our deposit BTC address is this here. So you can either copy it or you can select cross chain deposit and it will show up here as well. And I'm copying that. Now to do this, I'm going to jump over to blockchain.com wallet where I'm storing my demo wallet BTC. All right, over here at my blockchain.com wallet, and you can see I have a very small amount in my demo wallet. Now I want to send this over to the AnySwap cross chain DEX. Now under the two section, I'm gonna paste that address I copied over from my AnySwap wallet account. And then the amount I'm gonna send is 0 0.0005 BTC. And I'm just gonna do a regular network fee. So I'm gonna hit continue and I'm gonna select send Bitcoin. Now back over here at my AnySwap cross-chain DEX wallet, you, I can select cross-chain deposit again, and then I'll see my transaction, Bitcoin transaction status, which is currently pending. If I exit out of here, I can always just go over to the right-hand side and click the tab again. So I'm just gonna fast forward once again until this transaction is a success. All right, so our Bitcoin transaction status has come through and is a success and our BSC transaction status is also a success and we have successfully minted any BTC. So we can exit out here. We can see our new balance is 0 0.0005 any BTC. And if we want to double check once again, we can go up to our dashboard. We can show more coins and you can see we have 0 0.0005 any BTC. All right, so now just jumping over to our next step and that is swapping some any Ethereum into any tokens, which is a BEP20 token. So if we go over to our left-hand side and select the swap tab, and we just wanna drop down to any Ethereum. Now I wanna swap over the max amount into any, so I'm just gonna select enter max here. And before I can do this, I need to unlock the token. So if I hit unlock, it's just a quick, easy transaction. I can edit it, make it the fastest transaction it can be, and hit confirm. 
All right, so my NEF tokens are unlocked, and I'm actually just going to switch this to 0.001 because I just want a small amount. Now I'm just going to select the swap tab. Once again, quick transaction. Gas prices are really low since it's on Binance Smart Chain. So our gas GUI fee is 20, and we're just going to hit confirm. And perfect, our transaction has gone through. You can see our new balance is now 1.59. Any tokens and our any Ethereum balance is 0.009 any Ethereum. So if we go over to our dashboard, we can just view our new balances again right over here and perfect, easy. Now we're just going to jump over to our last step, and that is pooling some any tokens and BNB. So we go over to the left hand side once again to the pool tab. Now, under the pool tab, we just want to select the max amount we can do in order to earn the maximum returns. Now the returns for BNB any pairing have been outstanding to date and it's currently sitting at about 130% APY. So I definitely recommend for anybody watching this video to jump in on this because it is outstanding the return. So I'm just gonna select the max. Once again, I need to unlock my any tokens. So I'm just going to sign, confirm the contract here. All right. So now my tokens are unlocked. Perfect. And now I can add liquidity. So I'm just going to select add liquidity, quick transaction. Great. So that was just quick and easy. You can see now our pool share is 0 0.022427 BNB and 1.55 any that we're pooling and providing liquidity for. We go back to our dashboard and now under the providing liquidity tab, you can see under any slash BNB, we have 1.55 and 0 0.022 any. So anyways, I hope this helps. Be sure to bridge, swap, pool, take advantage of those massive APYs and earn those sweet, sweet any on the any swap cross chain decks. Anyways, that's it for me. I'm JB, and on behalf of the AnySwap cross-chain decks, happy trading, everybody. Peace out. Later. And bye for now.